I'm Jody with United Pawn Brokers out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Today we have the Ruger PC Carbine Backpacker. This is a takedown 9mm pistol caliber carbine. So this gun has been on the market for a few years now and it has a great ability to pretty much be whatever you want. It has a lot of customizable parts and aftermarket support that allows you to customize the rifle to your needs. This particular variant, like I said before, is the backpacker model. So it has a stock very similar to the 1022 backpacker that is very popular. It's just kind of blown up to fit the PC carbine. So some features of this stock in particular, it has a really nice rubber butt pad on the back, it has multiple ports that you can add quick detach sling mounts, it has a built-in compartment in the comb that you can store magazines or other items in. You have a watertight storage compartment here in the grip, perfect for leaving matches or maybe a little bit of first aid items. On the forearm, you have Magpul M-Lock slots on both sides, mount lights or any other accessory that you may want. And the neatest thing about this stock is it has the ability to retain the rifle in one unit. Most of the time, whenever you get a PC carbine, you have both halves and you kind of have to put them in the same bag and just hope that they stay together. For this one, you have a couple of pinch points there. You rotate it, put it a little bit to the side, push back and rotate. For the rifle itself, it has a nice Picatinny rail on top to mount any kind of optic that you so choose. And it does have a nice set of iron sights mounted onto the barrel. Your rear sight is kind of a ghost ring sight with a bunch of elevation and windage adjustments. And your front sight is all blacked out, but it is kind of your corn style protected front sight. Your charging handle is removable and it is able to be swapped to either side of the firearm. And the barrel has these nice deep straight flutes with a half by 28 threaded muzzle. So this firearm in the box, it includes one magazine in this case, we have a 17 round Ruger mag. You have multiple Allen keys, a replacement comb that you can add to the stock. Perfect if you want to add a magnified optic. And you have probably everybody's favorite item, which is the Glock magazine adapter. The barrel is just past 16 inches. Whenever it's fully assembled, it is around 35 inches overall and the length of pull is 13.75 inches and it weighs just over six pounds. To take the rifle down, pull back on the charging handle, pull up on this little relief here, then it will allow it to pull apart. And to change out your magazine adapter, first make sure it's unloaded. You'll take the largest key that it comes with. You have a screw here and a screw here. You'll rotate these out. After you get them loosened up enough, the rifle will start making its way out. Recommend holding it from the receiver and kind of pulling it off the top because there are a couple takedown pins here and here that are kind of free floating but are retained by the stock. Once you have your stock removed, to change out your magazine adapter, push the magazine release. It'll pop out the top. It does take a little bit more pressure than it does just to release a magazine. Then you take your Glock magazine adapter and you slide it right in. For reassembly, it is just the opposite step. This rifle is now converted. You can reassemble it. We have a Glock 17 magazine. And it's now will function with the rifle. But that's all we got for you today. Come and check it out. Thank you.